Hey, Harley here. Uh, here we've got the 1969 Markel. Now, um, I've made a video of this fan before. Uh, it's mint. Uh, the only problem is it came without a front grill, which, quite frankly, I bought it on eBay, and there was no mention ever of it not having the front grill, and conveniently all the photos showed side angles, rear angles, etc. Um, when I received it, it did not have a front grill, and the uh, when I complained to the seller, he said, well, you should have asked me if it had a front grill. Um, that's absolutely ridiculous, and obviously he had no idea how to sell a fan, especially a vintage fan. But anyhow, here it is, and um, Don W. on DT Vintage Fans, um, he, he told me about how, how to make one of these grills. And um, quite frankly, I think that, uh, that he's brilliant. Um, I, I made the grill following his direction. Now, I was unable to find the surround that he suggested, but I did find the plastic egg crate, and I, um, I did everything else uh, as he suggested except for make a metal frame for it, which I will be doing eventually once I locate some of that, um, some of that stuff. Anyhow, the fan works great. It is reversible. It's two-speed, and it is thermostatically controlled. And um, I made this front grill, and it, you know, of course, I don't have a lot of cleaning to do. I will give the seller that, but a um, couple of issues. Number one, the handle on the top there that you see, uh, it is a solid chunk of metal, and it was installed the uh, the wrong way around. So I took it off and uh, switched it around, put it back. Um, I gave it the usual thorough cleaning, which involves complete disassembly, um, you know, cleaning and uh, waxing all of the metal, and um, you know, basically just putting it back in like new condition. Which, as you can see, it it looks brand new. Um, Sands grill. Well, got me a piece of egg crate, made the front grill for that, and um, not only does it look pretty good, but I, I think it. Uh, I think it kind of matches the um, the era of this fan. It it really just kind of makes it look like it should be there. And um, if it weren't for you know mentioning that, I would think that it probably looks like uh, nobody would really question that unless they are hardcore and realize this fan is actually supposed to have the plastic diffuser grill. So um, anyhow, it works great, and I'm going to. Um, uh, start it up on uh, high and then low and then I'm going to reverse it and start it up on high and then low. Um, after that I'm going to get a quick startup sound from the back uh, near the motor because I do think it has a great startup sound. Here we go, I'm going to go ahead and um, crank it up for you. Okay, here's high speed. And uh, here is low speed. As you can see right here, it is thermostatically controlled. Works perfectly. What we've got here is off, low, high, in, and out. And as you just saw, we can't make a fan video without having a feline make an appearance. 
Okay. Here is uh, reverse, also known as out, on high. You'll notice the blades are evenly pitched and they're also shaped the same on the leading edge and the trailing edge which means they do provide the same flow of air whether you set it on in or out. Okay, here is low on out. And just so you know, it does have an RMR motor. It is a um, 2.1 amp motor on high, 1.5 amp on low. The motor was manufactured in 1968. And it's a standard RMR box fan motor, um, one of the large kinds. Uh, surrounded by small round holes, and then the front and the back have oval holes like the McMillans do. So, um, let me go ahead and... Uh, Start it up, let you hear the startup sound um, from the back because I do think, and Spat Spare agrees, this is one of the coolest startup sounds ever. Here we go. Okay, here is the startup sound from off to high. Let's go. Okay, and here is the startup sound on intake on low. Okay, and if I did not mention before, it does have the three aluminum metal blades. They're still shiny. It's got a steel hub, all steel construction, and a push button control. So that's the Markel. And um, thanks again to Don W on DT Vintage Fans for um, giving me this great idea of this front egg crate grill. Okay, well, Don and everyone else, I hope you have a great day. And thanks for watching.